Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Lexi McCann, and today we're going to look into Newton's three laws in swimming. First, let's see how Newton's laws apply in a float. Tank. Newton's first law states that objects in motion stay in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. When she flips, she's in motion. Once her feet hit the wall, she stops. Now she's at rest. Newton's second law also applies here. Force equals mass times acceleration. The amount of force used in a flip turn depends on mass and acceleration. With Tori, she has less mass and acceleration, so less force is used. In Cassidy's case, she has more mass and acceleration. More force is used in her turn. is shown when her feet hit the wall. She pushes on the wall. The wall pushes back with an equal and opposite force. This makes her move forward through the water. See how Newton's laws apply in a finish. When she's moving towards the wall, she is in motion. Once her hand hits the wall, she stops. This is Newton's first law. Newton's second law is shown by the difference in mass and acceleration between Tori and Cassidy. The third law is shown in the second law. With a greater mass, you are pulled forward towards the wall. With a lesser mass, you are pushed off. It's slick, it's tight, water goes right past it. It's the cap! Brilliant blue! Whimsical white! And bodacious black! Buy one cap for $32.99 and get two extras for three payments of shipping and handling. Our last demonstration is a dive. In Newton's first law, when you're on the block, you're at rest. Once you push off, you are in motion. Take your mark. Go! Newton's second law. More mass, more force. With more force, you go farther and faster through the air and water. Take your mark. Beep. Go. Third law. When she pushes on the block, the block pushes back. She moves forward. Take your mark. Go. And that's how Newton's three laws are demonstrated in swimming. 